here's the thing with coordination and technique. It really is, it's more a science than an art in most of this. There's a little bit of art to it. But coordination and technique, we should be trying to solve a problem so that we can play music. A lot of the times, if we learn this other way, we're doing coordination for coordination's sake. You know, we're doing exercises for exercises sake. This is like, you know, the programs you go into and it's just like a thousand pages of exercises or the books you get that are every permutation or combination of exercises, which are good. Those helped me a lot. But like, let's go straight to the music we want to play and figure out the coordination that we need to play it. That's where people usually get lost. So it's, it's kind of like overwhelm here. And then also with this, the way we practice um, coordination and technique is usually by just repetition, just playing it over and over again, where, you know how I said coordination technique, it's more of science than an art. With coordination technique, you it very much should be about diagnose problem, holding you back from playing music you want to play, hypothesis on how to fix problem, experiment, check your work, experiment, check your work, experiment, check your work, result, add next thing, experiment, check your work, experiment, check your work. So this is like recording yourself. This is like playing smaller chunks. The reason people don't do that, which is like, every time I teach somebody how to do this, they're like, that was so dumb and obvious. <laughs> but it's not, it's not complex or hard. Well, I should say this, it's simple, not easy, right? Because it requires patience. It requires slowing down. It requires um, like humbleness. There's a better word for that, humility. <laughs> it requires humility, saying like, ah, I feel like I can almost play this if I just, you know, just force my left hand to do it. I feel like I can force my left hand to do it. When if you just slow down and play it note by note, you will get it with your left hand and then the muscle memory will kick in, right? Again, these things are very scientific and when I explain them to people, it always just like makes sense. It's just, we're in a rush, we're in a hurry. Because what's happening is we learned, you know, we learned this way and we, we're not getting to play music. In this part down here, we're just playing a bunch of exercises and we really want, we're in a rush to go play some music. Whereas like here, if we just started with playing music, then we would realize that like, oh, this is the one thing I have to work on. I'm gonna slow down and work on this, <laughs> right?